Now let's discuss this part of our story. The first question that comes to my mind, what is this part of the story? Is it the beginning, the middle, or the end? Yeah, you're right. This is the middle of our story. Another question that comes to my mind, how does Benny feel at this point? Remember that at the beginning of the story, they told us that Benny doesn't feel comfortable or he is not in the mood for tight pools. So, do you think Benny is excited now? Or you think that Benny is worried and feels uncomfortable? Yeah, you're right, he is worried. Can you think of evidence? How do you know that Benny is worried? Let's get back to our paragraphs. In paragraph 8, Benny started to squirm as he bent to squat by one of the pools. Another evidence, Benny thought they looked like they wanted to pull him underwater. This sentence shows that he is worried and scared because he is imagining that a small creature is trying to pull him underwater, right? Another evidence, ah, oh, Benny stepped backward. And here I have a clear sentence, he looked worried. I have a question here. What does Jada do to make Benny's problem worse? Yes, you are right. She scares him more and teases him. Monster alert! She shouted. Scaredy cat! Jada teased. These two sentences are clear. clear that Jada is trying to make, his prop, to make his problem worse. Now, what happened at the middle of the story? When they started exploring the tide pools, Benny felt worried. Jada is making his problem worse because she is teasing him. Let's move to comprehension check. Choose the phrase that best describes what Jada is doing in paragraph 14. Before I go back to paragraph 14, let's read our choices. Getting angry at Benny, teasing Benny, teaching Benny about the octopus, trying to make Benny less afraid. Let's get back to our paragraph 14. Uh-huh. Jada laughed again. It's just a baby octopus, silly. Its legs are called tentacles, she said. Do you think here she is teasing him? Or she is teaching about the baby octopus? Yes, you are right. She is giving information about the octopus. So, our answer, teaching Benny about the octopus. Question number two, which sentence explains why Benny is not happy to see the sea urchin? Let's zoom in. They look like plants, but they are animals. This one shows why he is not happy to see the uh, sea urchins. Remember not to touch the creatures. The sea urchins waved their arms. Or D, Benny thought they looked like they wanted to pull him underwater. Yes, you're right, D. So, the sentence that shows why Benny is not happy to see the sea urchins is D. Benny thought they looked like they wanted to pull him underwater. Now, let's move on to paragraph 19. Benny turned around quickly. 
The octopus had crawled out of the tide pool and was slowly creeping across the wet sand. He watched a big gull swoop down. The gull was starting to poke at the little, little octopus with its sharp yellow beak. The octopus was squirming, trying to slide away over the wet sand. The little sea monster was helpless. Remember here, I have helpless. Less means without. So helpless means without help. Paragraph 20. Uncle T was running toward them with an object in his hand. But Benny was already on the move. He ran toward the bird. He was yelling and waving his arms wildly. The frightened gull flew away. Uncle Tay and Benny stood over the little octopus. Paragraph 21. Uncle Tay had a magazine. He gently pushed it under the wet sand to scoop up the octopus. Benny carefully took the magazine from his uncle. He could not let the octopus slide off. He rushed back to the tide pool. Paragraph 22. The octopus looked squishy and slimy. Benny was worried that it would crawl onto him. He could almost feel its sticky tentacles. Quickly! He tipped the magazine and plopped the little sea monster back into the tide pool. Now, he suddenly wanted to laugh or maybe cheer. Jada and Uncle Tay were already cheering. That was so awesome, Jada said. I could never do that. She hugged Benny. Uncle Tay said, you saved a life today. Now let's move on. Creeping, moving slowly or crawling. Swoop to fly down suddenly. Object, a small thing. Yelling, shouting. Frightened, scared. Scoop, to pick up and move something using a spoon or a scoop. Could see the picture of a spoon or uh, actually scoop. Squishy, soft and wet. Plopped, dropped into liquid. Now let's have a discussion here. What is this part of the story? Yes, is it the beginning, middle, or the end? Yes, it is the end. What is the new problem? In what paragraph the new problem started? Let's find out. The problem is in our paragraph 19. Benny turned quickly. So, let's zoom in here again. The problem that Benny turned quickly, turned around quickly, the octopus had crawled out of the tide pool and was slowly creeping across the wet sand. He watched a big gull swoop down. So the problem that a big bird tried to pick up the little octopus, right? In here, how does Benny solve the octopus problem? He ran toward the bird he was yelling and waving his arms wildly. So this is how he saved the octopus. Which paragraph shows that Benny has changed from the beginning to the end of the story? We remember that at the beginning of the story, he was not in the mood. He was worried. He did not like anything slimy. But now in paragraph 22, we can find out that Benny has changed. The octopus looked squishy and slimy. Benny was worried that it would crawl onto him. 
he could almost feel its sticky tentacles. Quickly, he tipped the magazine and plopped the little, little sea monster back into the tide pool. Now, he suddenly wanted to laugh or maybe cheer. In here we see that, yes, he is still feeling worried, but now he is enjoying and having fun to save a life. He is not scared anymore. He is worried about this little monster. To him, it's not a monster anymore. It's a little animal that is helpless. Comprehension check. Which sentence shows that Jada has changed at the end of the story? She cheers for Benny. She's afraid of the gull. She's afraid of the octopus. She says she doesn't like tight pools. Yes, you're right. She cheers for Benny instead of teasing him, right? Question number two. Which sentence best describes how Benny's problem is solved at the end of the story? Benny doesn't like tight pools. Jada likes to tease Benny because he is scared. Benny saves a baby octopus life. Or Uncle Tay takes Benny and Jada home. The problem solved at the end of the story by saying that Benny saves a baby octopus life. So he is not scared anymore. What happened at the end of the story? A new problem started. A baby octopus was in a trouble. A seagull about to eat the baby octopus. Benny helped the baby octopus and saved his life. Benny was happy to be able to help the baby octopus. Jada cheers for him at the end.